Mm -hmm. This whole Britney Griner situation, it's it's tragic. It's it's horrific. It's unfortunate. Now, you don't have to agree with her political stance or how she lived her life or nothing like that. But it's obvious. Britney Griner is a prisoner of war. Stay tuned. Have y'all checked out our merch store yet? Have y'all followed me in all my socials? Well, if you haven't yet, go handle that. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to need y'all to smash up that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell for notification to stay plugged in with Gutter and Saint. Now, before I go all the way in on this whole topic, man, I'm going, I, I just need to know where is the LBGTQ community on this. You know, where is BLM on this whole topic? Where's all these feminist groups at? You know, hey, y'all sisters and in, in desperate help. One of y'all, one of y'all comrades are down right now. They need y'all. Why are y'all so silent on this? But anyway, you don't have to agree with Britney Griner politics or how she lived her life, or even the fact that she had a vape pen with less than a gram of cannabis oil in it to agree with the fact that nine and a half years in prison is a misuse of justice. Come on, y'all know that. We all know that the U.S. is beefing with Russia. We all know that the U.S. is funding Ukraine and a whole war that they got going on over there. And Russia don't like that. We all know that. And it's obvious that they trying to make an example out of Britney Grind. I don't care what nobody say. It's, they are trying to make an example. Heck, I even heard in the news that they saying that they're trying to exchange her for some top Russian spy who was selling guns over there in the Middle East to, you know, these countries. He was doing some loose stuff. They try, they trying to make a plea and try to trade um, him for her and, and, and all this stuff. Hey, look. That's not a fair trade. Real rap. This dude is some type of war machine. She's just a basketball player. Like, you know, that's not a fair trade, America. But anyway. And I'm about to tell y'all what the media isn't saying. Now, ask yourself. Why did they enforce the trafficking charges over the possession charges? Now, they did hit her with the possession charges, too. But the trafficking charges carry a harsher penalty. See, drug possession charges according to Russia's law and depend on depending on how much you have, which in Britney's case was less than a gram. It was like 0 0.7 grams. You know, it just carry a fine or a few months in jail and you on your way home. Now, the reason they hit her with the drug trafficking charges, because at minimum, the sentence carry anywhere from like seven years to life in prison. Now, it get, again, it depends on how how much drugs you have now in Britney's case she only had less than a gram of uh cannabis oil now I can hear some ignorant now saying well Reese how do you know what the Russian law is well y'all know I'm the plug man I'm the plug man I went to my supplier Google he got enough information to go around you should try him too <laughs> I looked up the laws and this is what I found now pay close attention on why they was enforcing the trafficking charges over the possession charges. Now, again, they did give her the possession charges, but why was they enforcing the trafficking charges? I'm about to show you. But before I show you, I got beef with her lawyer because if I was able to point out this argument, I don't understand why he didn't point out this argument and, and argue this case in court because I think she probably would have been home already. But we all know why. They don't like black folk over there neither. But, but anyway, again, that's why I say she's a prisoner of war. Russia's government take a tough stance on possession or use of cannabis. Both are illegal in accordance with Article 228 of the country's criminal code and are punishable with a fine and or a prison sentence. Since 2012, the penalties can be deferred if the offender is found to have a drug problem. Possession up to six grams is regarded as an administrative offense. Anything above seven grams is a criminal offense. However, there are reports of people being arrested for cannabis possession only to have the authorities exaggerate the amount of cannabis they were caught with. Now I'm about to show y'all why they had to charge her with drug trafficking. And it's obvious. Smuggling narcotics 
quote unquote, significant amounts in violation of Article 229 2C of Russian's uh, criminal code carries a minimum sentence of five to 10 years deprivation of freedom along with fines. So y'all see why they had to push that uh that uh trafficking that smuggling on her now if you look, go back up further up in that article you will see that anything above seven grams is carry a more harsh penalty anything under six grams you know you get hit with a fine you get probably up to three years or you know in a lot of cases you get a few months that stuff that i've you know investigated over there they got a few months and they just, they just let those folk go but they hit her with trafficking and smuggling knowing it was going to carry a longer sentence and our media helped propagate this they pushed our media america media pushed that she was smuggling uh she was trafficking when she only had less than a gram in her possession in my honest opinion, it's a misuse of justice because like I always say, when any country, place, or anything have a bunch of laws, those laws can be manipulated because there are so many laws. If you don't know the law, there are so many laws that can get you deeper into trouble and get you harsher sentence. And with some, if somebody have the same case, if they got a good lawyer, there's laws to get them out of the situation with a lighter sentence or if a sentence at all. In Britney's case, it just didn't work in her favor. Yes, she's somewhere else. You know, American laws don't apply over there. And it's a, it's the whole the whole thing is just unfortunate it's it's it's, it's a tragedy it's, it's tragic you don't have to agree with her politics yeah you know i mean i don't agree with her politics heck i didn't even know who she was before all this mess i knew she was a basketball player i knew you know her name did you know circulate around that she was a good basketball player but outside of that i really didn't know who she you know who she was this whole situation is wrong on so many levels to give her almost 10 years for less than a gram of cannabis oil under trafficking and smuggling narcotics. It's just flat out sick. It's it's a misuse of justice. I don't care what nobody say. And yeah, yeah, she was on another. So, yeah, nobody's disputing that. Yeah, she took responsibility. Yeah, she you know, she she fessed up to it. And yeah, people say, well, she you know, she was on another. So you she she get what she deserved. Nah, it ain't about getting what she deserved. You know, what I mean, the just the, the justice. Well, the judge over there could have just saw that man. Just uh, 0 0.7 gram. Man, just let her let her go. But nah, man, Russia is beefing with us they are trying to make an example out of britney grinder and that's what they're doing they making an example out of britney grinder and to be honest look if white folk over here barely rock with us black people what makes you think those white folk over in russia going going rock with black what makes you think they're going to give a two cents about any black person let alone give her empathy over 0 0.7 grams of um cannabis oil i don't care what nobody say britney grinder is a prisoner of war and this is an indictment on us all you gotta insane they can't stand me